another episode of The Naked Turner. If you, uh, if this is your first time tuning in here, my name is Eric Anderson. I'm The Naked Turner. Uh, I do a lot of bowls, plates, goblets, off-centered stuff, square pieces, uh, you name it, I try it. Uh, I love working on instruments, and um, I'm also interested in doing poetry, as well as creating my own music and lyrics. Um, I hope you enjoy my channel. Please watch as I get into this next episode where I'll be taking a piece of wood that was sent to me by a gentleman from Australia by the name of Les. Les from Oz, thank you very much. You uh, sent me a couple pieces recently of some wood which I uh, have not turned before, one of which was Solomon Island's ebony, um, as well as this piece of what he believes to be acacia. Thank you very much. I'm going to be starting on this piece of acacia today, and I'm just going to be roughing it into a blank uh, cylinder, I believe, for creating a small canister. Uh, and thank you very much for sending me this piece of wood. I'm going to try to steward it wisely and create something that will hopefully be fitting for this piece of timber. Thanks, and take care. All right, so here's this small piece of acacia, or what... Uh, Les believes to be acacia. It has a pretty healthy little hole in the pith right there. But um, what I'm going to do, since this is so small, I'm going to just turn it into a cylinder first and see what it looks like. And then uh, I'm going to go from there. I was thinking about leaving the uh, natural edge on it, but it has some splits and checks here on the outside, which I'm going to try to turn off and uh, get away from this... Um, uh, the white outer edge, or the I believe it's called the cambrium of the uh, tree, and get down here into more of the actual wood of this tree. So, um, anyway, let's put it on the lathe and get started. All right, before you start turning, always remember to read, understand, and most importantly, follow all the shop safety. For any tool that you're going to be using. And don't forget to wear your face shield. Okay, so I'm going to be starting out using my uh, using my roughing gouge. And this particular roughing gouge is a uh, diamic Henry Taylor tool. Right here. I love this and if you ever see any of these diamic, whoops, sorry. If you ever see any of these diamic Henry Taylors used for a good price, pick them up. They're one of the best uh, tools you can have. I'm spinning up around 1700 RPM. using the roughing gouge to rough this piece into a cylinder. Okay, so I'm roughing this into round. I'm continuing to use my Henry Taylor Diamic roughing gouge in order to rough this piece of acacia into a cylinder. Now I'm using my narrow parting tool in order to remove the two rough ends and get this into a shape that I can start working with. Which I love this little step center. Uh, it's great, it's got a spring-loaded point on it and then these little serrated teeth. And if you get a bad catch, those teeth just kind of act like a saw and cut a, a slot and your piece just spins instead of getting a real bad catch and grab. These are very good for beginning turners, a step center. And this one I think I picked up for about $29, something like that. I believe it was PSI. Okay, now. Alright. Grabbing onto that, like that. Okay, so this piece is pretty small, but it's extremely hard. And I'm hoping that this little bug hole here doesn't have anything active in it, but uh, 
I have three and a quarter inches from my jaws to the end here. So uh, I'm going to try to use every little bit of this. It looks like it's just a beautiful piece of wood. So, and I bet it's going to polish up really nice. It's extremely hard, like an ironwood almost. Bottom, bottom third of the tool. Approximately 45 degree cutting bevel. I don't know if you can really make that out here, but uh, I'm getting a really nice polished cut. Okay, I'm continuing to use my skew chisel in order to refine and finish this piece off so that I can start turning it into a canister. What I've done here is using my parting tools, my narrow and my diamond parting tools, I am, I'm taking and I've made a shoulder here or a tenon and then I left hopefully you can see this yeah you can if you look right in here let me get a pointer here if you look right in here you'll see I left a little shoulder here that's corresponding to the end of this side of the tenon right where I parted it off just a tiny little bit like a 64th of an inch that I've left sticking off the face of the box that will help me later when I come back to size the hole for the tenon on the lid. Okay, so now I'm just about to part through, so I take my parting tool in my left hand and I use my right hand to grab on to the lid as I part it off. And there you go. That lid is parted off. And you can see I have a fairly healthy hole here in the pith of this tree. There's right there, so I'm going to fill that in. But before I do that, I'm going to go about hollowing the canister out. Alright, so I'm going to start hollowing out the inside of this piece. Bring my quill out till it's reading one inch. And then Turning my speed down. This is a really hard wood, so I'm going to turn down to about 300. And right there, right around 300 RPM. Now I'm bringing my quill back to one inch, advancing until I'm just touching that edge. And now what I'm going to do is say, okay, I want to go in here approximately two and one eighth inches. All right. So I'm going to advance my quill until I'm in two and one eighth inch. some CA glue down into this little bug hole with a little bit of the dust that I've been generating uh, into that CA glue and then I'm just letting it harden up now. I'm making an ever so slightly tapered cut here at the edge of the lid so that I can fit my top and get a really nice tight fit. And that way, if I need to, I can do what I'm about to do here in a second where I take away a little right there of the lip and that gives me a nice tight fit. Get some light for you to see. 
All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking and wet sanding with some walnut oil. And this should really make this piece nice and smooth and also look really beautiful. Sanding off. I'll put a little bit of CA on the crack, so this wet sanding is doing a couple things for me. Sanding that off without making dust, and it's polishing and introducing oil into this piece. So, here's the canister. It turned out extremely beautiful, Les, from Australia. Thank you so much for this wonderful little piece of acacia. You can see there was a split right here. And then another one right here, which I think I've managed to stabilize. So, uh, oops. So I'm just going to do a little more buffing on this, and then I'll take some stills. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, like this, subscribe, and make a comment. Thanks again, and safe turning.